Let's preview tonight's Spurs Rockets game and ask is Vassell kind of like the one two punch to carry the entire rebuild with Wimbayama? You are locked on Spurs, your daily San Antonio Spurs podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey, this is Hot Rod. And I'm RC from the Cybertron Spring. And you're listening to Locked On Spurs with Jeff Garcia. Hey, welcome back to Locked On Spurs. We're here on the Locked On NBA Network. I'm your host, Jeff Garcia, Spurs writer for Ken's 5 San Antonio. Glad to have you all back. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. As always, we thank you for making Locked On Spurs your first listen each and every day. Free and available wherever you get podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, iTunes, the list goes on and on, including the Ken's 5 Plus app. You guys are the everydayers. Today's episode is brought to you by Nissan. Are you the kind of driver that likes to push things a little further? Ever wonder what adventure could be like right around the corner? We'll take the Nissan Rogue, Pathfinder, or Nissan Armada and go find your next big adventure. Check them all out on today at NissanUSA.com. Hey, what are we talking about? We're going to be looking at tonight's game, Spurs Rockets. Then bring in our guest, uh, it's been even said on my colleague at Ken 5. We're going to be discussing whether or not Vassell is like Wimby's forever partner. You know, there's like a forever home. What if he's like the forever partner to carry throughout the entire rebuild? And then talk about you guys, the Lockdown Spurs fans, and a couple of your comments you all left on the YouTube page. But first, tonight's game, Spurs v. Rockets. The Spurs are coming into tonight's game at 14 and 51. Rockets coming into tonight's game at 25 and 35. This is the second game of an eight-game homestand for your silver and black. Let's rewind the clock. Yesterday, the Spurs lost to the Warriors in their gym. Well, the Spurs gym, Frost Center, 112 to 102. Wemby, he had seven, he had 27 points, excuse me, and 14 rebounds. Malachi had two points and a rebound. Zach Collins had 10. Devin Vassell had 17 points. Kelvin Johnson had 16. Jeremy Sohan chipped in with nine points. The uh, uniform watch, Spurs will be in their black jerseys, the Icon Edition jerseys tonight versus Rockets. All right, as always, we like to start off with the visiting team, the Spurs opponent, Houston. So what are some things you're going to be looking out for tonight's game? Well, the Rockets, they're they're a little hot on the road right now. They have won three straight road games. Now, keep in mind, uh, likely they will not have Alperin Singoon. He dropped 45 points on the Spurs in their last meeting. He had a devastating knee injury, just leg injury. It was pretty, pretty bad, uh, likely not to come back this season. But, uh, yeah, Rockets are hot on the road. Nevertheless, won three straight road games. Now, in those three straight games, though, the Rockets are getting out-rebounded. Yeah, they've been out-rebounded in three straight games. So the Spurs should be able to take advantage of that tonight. And, again, that's likely, you know, no Sengun won't help Houston. Definitely help San Antonio. Nevertheless, Spurs got to take advantage of that, leap on that, get those rebounds, get those opportunities, second chance, first chance, whatever. Just keep Houston off the glass. Keep an eye on the scoreboard. On the road, the Rockets are pretty good when they're leading at halftime. They're 6-2, and two, well above 500. Hopefully that won't happen for Houston, and that won't bode well, you know, bode well for them, but very much more in the favor of the Spurs. Now, as far as Silver and Black are concerned, as mentioned, this is the second game of a back-to-back. So last night they played the Warriors, tonight they got Houston. Well, on that second game of a back-to-back, the Spurs are well below 500. they They're 2-8. and eight. So not a good trend right now. Hopefully the Spurs can avoid getting a, you know, a losing streak going again, right? Now, if you don't lose these streaks, the Spurs have lost the last two games versus Houston. So hopefully the Spurs can snap that losing streak as well. There you have it. Quick Spurs Rockets preview. When we get back, we're going to bring in our guest, Vinny Vincetta, my colleague at Ken's Five. We're going to be discussing Wimby and Vassell and then get into some of your comments you left on the Lockdown Spurs YouTube page. This show episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Yeah, I want to talk to you about BetterHelp right now. Look, sometimes you got to get things off your chest. Not good to bottle them up. Or maybe you're doing things that are right and you want to keep on doing those things that are right. And if you're thinking that online therapy could be your way to get those goals done, then look no further than BetterHelp. Give BetterHelp a try online therapy right now at betterhelp.com slash LockedInMBA and get on your way for you being your best self. As mentioned, sometimes we need to get the opportunity to get things off your chest, big, small. Certain things can really bog you down, start getting to you. It's important to let that out, especially to someone who's unbiased in your life. 
And that's why you got to try better help. You know, hey, you want to feel right about something? You want to feel better about something? You want to give online therapy a try? Give better help uh, your try right now. Like I get it, the Spurs are not having the best season. You know, just recently had another loss. But sometimes there are bigger things in life that uh, impact you on a personal level. Family issues, personal issues, work issues, whatever it is. Or as I mentioned before, you're doing things right. You want to keep on doing right. That's where better help comes in. Therapy can be different for everyone. Most of us have bigger problems than just those favorite sports teams. It's important to get things off your chest every once in a while. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Entirely online, designed to be flexible, suited to your schedule. And look, just go to BetterHelp right now. BetterHelp.com slash LockdownNBA. Get yourself 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash LockdownNBA. This is Emily Swallow, and you are listening to Locked On Spurs with Jeff Garcia. And we're back right here on Locked On Spurs with the Vin Dog himself, Vinny Vincetta, my colleague at Ken's 5 San Antonio. Follow him on X at VVincetta. Vinny, welcome back. By the way, thank you again for helping me out do a game recap from the Frost uh, What was about a couple weeks ago. That was lots yeah. of fun. Nice, casual conversation. Let's do that again sometime. That was cool. Oh, I- I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait to do that. Hey, well, you know, they're here for eight games in San Antonio, so it looks like the chances are high that yes. we'll be able to do that again. Again, everybody, we're going to be discussing Spurs rebuilding future. That's kind of been the theme this week of uh, Vinny. And part of the uh, rebuild is looking at the roster. And the current roster, you know, there might be some moving parts as it moves on, you know, the rebuild. But yep. one piece is Devin Vassell. He's really been having himself a solid season, and he's looking like he could be a nice one-two combo with Wimby. You know how they say, Vinny, oh, you know, I found my forever home. This is the home that I want to be with. Do you think that maybe, just maybe, the Spurs, Wimby, have found Wimby's forever partner with Devin? One of them, without question. I mean, to me, (laughs) it's not a maybe. I mean, Devin, Devin is home and needs to stay home. I mean, Lock that guy up. I mean, yeah. he's going to get his every night. And I say that to the idea that we say Wimby's going to get his every night, which he's going to. Mm-hmm. But gosh, I mean, Devin is a professional scorer. I mean, yes. he reminds me he's a much better version of, you know, Lou Williams uh, uh, during his days in the league was a professional scorer. Uh, right. That's what that's what Devin is, man. I mean, he is going to go out there and get it. He's going to have an off shooting night. <clears throat> uh here and there, but you know, the game is played by human beings. That's going to happen. But it, 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 to me, it's become expected that he's going to be that guy. He's going to get his uh, most nights. So absolutely. It is a, it is a one, two situation or a, mm-hmm. a, a, a cornerstone piece for Wimby <clears throat> that uh, you have to, you have to keep making that happen. Yeah. The, the, the guy is, the guy is solid, man. Like him a lot. Yeah. A couple of things. Uh, one Popovich recently said that, he agreed with you. What you said right now, you know, about him being Devin being a professional scorer, hundred percent, yes. But they're wanting him to be a better decision maker. They're wanting him uh, to keep on building that confidence. And I think, yeah, there are there still steps for him to take? Of course, this entire team development wise and individually, they need steps to be taken. But Devin has taken a really big st- step of late. I think. You know, this whole remember the whole thing to start the season. Oh, who's going to be the alpha? Who's going to be the Batman? You know, was it Devin? Was it Wimby? Well, obviously, it's Wimby, but <clears throat> with Devin, though, I wonder, uh, Vinny, do you think you know it, the rebuild is also bringing in new pieces? And what's very we're talking about, all oh, the Spurs need another complimentary star, another star with this team. What if they don't have to look that far? What if it's already in their own back backyard with Devin? I still think they should go look at bringing in better talent, no offense on the current roster, but perhaps the forward, small forward position is locked in, or do you think that still needs to be looked at? Like, for example, Tobias Harris is going to be a free agent. You know, that might put a wrinkle in Devin's playing time. <sighs> Those are all fair thoughts with a, yeah. with a summer of money and, and an opportunity to go out and and find people. And you are right uh, with respect to the roster. There's going to be some turnover, um, but Devin is a guy that needs to be in the fold. Okay. He needs to be in that starting five. Absolutely, yeah. And he is a piece that 
that just works. I mean, I, I'm not sure there's too much of a conversation to be had that it's not working. I mean, it looks really good. And are you going to have to rediscover some things, I guess, when you do make moves on the roster and get other people in here? Yes. <clears throat> but uh, Devin, Devin is working. Devin is working. Now, you may find, Jeff, a free agent piece that that person becomes the the, the Robin to Wimby as the Batman. Mm -hmm. But man, uh, don't 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 sleep on Devin. I mean, he needs to be right there in the fold. And I mm -hmm. I think everybody realizes and understands that everything needs to go through the seven foot three guy or uh, or seven or seven four whatever he is. Everything yeah. goes through him. But Devin, to me, uh, he's found his spots. Mm -hmm. He he knows his moments and he knows when to shoot. He knows when to uh, let Wimby do his job. Um, so don't, 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 I, I can't imagine at all, um, eventually ever parting ways with Devin in the, in the interim. I mean, he needs to be a part of this, this serious rebuild. Oh, for sure. You know, let's look at some of the numbers now. So we're looking at his month of February, 12 games played, uh, averaging about 22.5 points per game in 34 minutes, 4.3 rebounds, 4.9 assists. I like that a lot. One thing I don't think gets enough credit and i keep on telling myself uh, uh vinnie that i'm going to talk to devin about this look they're here for eight games so i got a good chance <laughs> he plays he plays a clean game this is how many fouls that he averaged in the month of february 0 0.8 0 0.8 he he's, plays smart vinnie your thoughts he's just one of those guys that gets it i mean he's got court vision he sees things uh, that are going to happen before they happen. Uh, he understands the parameters of the basketball court. Mm -hmm. He knows where people are going to be. Um, you know, not every player has that ability, even at the NBA level, to just mm -hmm. see it and understand uh, in the seconds before it happens what is going to develop. And mm -hmm. he is one of those guys, high, high basketball uh, IQ. And, I, you know, he, he said back on media day, I, I, I think of everybody that said it back uh, on media day last year, that the season is about, was about winning. Mm -hmm. but, but when he said it, his, his version stuck out to me more than ever. And Devin is hungry. And I bet you nobody is more busted and beat down by this yeah. season than him. But Devin Vassell is ready uh, to win. He wants to be that guy. Mm -hmm. Now, now looking at this month, as, as of this recording, March 3rd, I'm sorry, um, March 11th, excuse me, in three games um, in the month of March, 38.5 minutes per game, 23 points per game. So he upped it a half. And again, the fouls, he doesn't foul a lot, 0 0.7. Again, small sample size. I get it. Three games as of this recording. But nevertheless, you see his progression. Hey, better late than never, Vinny. He was kind of pegged as a guy to take the biggest leap heading into the new season. It was him and Malachi. And both it's weird. Both of them were having those late season surges. And as far as Devin's late season surge, look, I'll take it. But part of me is also saying this. Okay, well, yay, Devin, but don't win too much because I'm thinking about the draft now. But, <laughs> but at the same time, I like it. Look, it's basically this ending piece of the season is for everybody, Devin included, is and minus Wimby is an audition, right? It really is. Who's going to be sticking around for the next season? I'm glad you mentioned Malachi. He's been on a it, it's a small sample size for him too, but he's been on a hot streak. Uh, Trey Jones just continues to impress me absolutely uh, most nights in in and out. But yeah, bit Devin. I mean, just. Uh, yeah, he, he. If there's a, a piece you can point to on the roster outside of Wimby and say, and say this guy is a professional NBA basketball player, to me, it's it's Devin Vassell. So uh, just doing things the right way. And it's funny you mentioned that. I was just I was just talking to the great Casey Vieira. Uh, now that the season is kind of in the mode of just playing them this thing out because they've been eliminated, yeah. like how much should they really win? Because yeah. if they if they win, say, in these last 20 or whatever it is, if they win seven to ten more, they're only sort of taking themselves out of out of that top three and yep. what, what lottery position after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you see the Spurs put out a starting lineup with me and Vinny in it, you know what they're doing, everybody. <laughs> you, you know what they're doing. But, Vinny, I, I, you know, kind of put you in the hot seat here, hot seat here. Has Devin's late surge uh, of great play pushed him into the near untradeable level along with Wimby? Yes, 
Okay. Yes. Okay. He, he's in my in my opinion, he's a piece that needs to stay. I mean, okay. you 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 build with that with 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 Victor Wembanyama. In, in my mind, no no question. I mean, I guess you know this this season has gone south in such a bad way that everything's up for negotiation and nobody is, I guess, safe. Mm -hmm. But if you had to hold me to it, I, I would. Devin has to be safe. I just, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. There's yeah. just too, there's just too much serious game there. Yeah, yeah. And you look at how he's progressed. To, towards the end of this season, can you imagine next season when he when he's you know another season under his belt and more yeah. experience, yeah. Uh, you know more familiarity with Pop and his system. So yeah, it, you know so the sky is looking up. I mean seriously, the ceiling is high right now for Devin Vassell. Very. Hey, we're not yeah we're not done talking about your silver and black when we get back. We're gonna be discussing you guys. Yes, what are you the Locked On Spurs fans? been talking about on the YouTube page, kind of a mailbag edition. So we're going to get uh, Vinny's thoughts on what y'all are talking about, my thoughts, and so much more. That's coming up next right here on Locked on Spurs. Hey, I want to talk to you about Nissan. Are you the kind of driver that likes to push things a little further? Ever wonder what adventure could be like just around the corner? Our friends at Nissan have a lineup of SUVs, well, that have the capability to take your adventure to the next level. Let's start off with the 2024 Nissan Rogue. It's perfect for city drives, great escapes. They have this class exclusive Google, which is built in right into your car. Seriously, into the US, uh, the SUV. And it's always updating the assistant uh, for you to call on almost anything. Look, gone are the days of having to plug in your phone and all that good stuff. Now with Google Assistant, Google Maps, and the Google Play Store, all that's built right in into the HD touchscreen 12.3 inch screen, I should say, infotainment center. Hey, look, the 2024 Rogue is the perfect mid-size crossover for your next adventure. Hey, how about the 2024 Nissan Armada? That will change what you expect from a full-size SUV. Picture a rugged 4x4 that can seat up to eight in first-class luxury and style. Tow bigger, explore further with the 2024 Armada. Hey, take the Nissan Rogue, the Nissan Pathfinder, the Nissan Armada, and go find your next big adventure right now, everybody. Shop NissanUSA.com. Hey, I want to talk about Muslinger Drive Through Coffee. Go there right now, San Antonio, 2404 Thousand Oaks Drive. That's in the 281 and 1604 area. Head on out there. If you need a latte, they got it. Cold brew, they got it. Dairy alternatives, yep. What about signature drinks like the Red Bull Infused Lightning Bolt Series? They got that too. Hey, try their Muslinger. That is their signature coffee drink. You'll love it. And if you want something beyond drinks, they got that too. Mini donuts. They have it all only at Muslinger Drive Through Coffee, a proud local sponsor of Locked On Spurs. Proud community member of San Antonio serving you, everybody, the best drinks around town. Look, they're great on social media. Follow them at, at Muslinger SATX on TikTok, Facebook. The, I mean, pick a platform, X. Yeah, they're all there. At Muslinger SATX is their handle. And who knows if you might suggest them your own drink concoction and whatever is floating in your head about mixing parts of this and that together. They might do it. They did it for me with the OG OJ. They could do that for you. Yeah. Speaking of the OJ, OJ, they also have non-caffeinated drinks. So if you want to take it easy and not have too much caffeine in your system, they got you covered too. 2404 Thousand Oaks Drive open every single day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Go there right now, San Antonio. Why? Because life is too short for a bland coffee. And we're back right here on Locked On Spurs with my good friend and colleague at Ken's Five. Make sure to follow him on X. He is the Vin Dog, Vinny Vincetta. At V Vincetta on X, do that right now. Well, Vinny, it's time to start talking about what the Locked On Spurs fans are talking about. Surprise, surprise! It's a lot about <clears throat> Trey Young. Yeah, gee, I wonder why uh, they got dreams of that happen. Hey, look, it could happen. It, it could happen, but yeah, Vinny, it just swamped with a lot of Trey Young comments. Let's dive into this one. So the first one is from Mudhorn. Great name, by the way, Mudhorn. Um, mm. He comments, Vinny. Let's just wait this offseason. Even if Trey comes to the Spurs next season, I don't see them, Spurs, truly contending yet. Might get into the play-in, but that's it. The West is just too stacked. Thank you, Mudhorn, from that comment. So Mudhorn is basically saying, <clears throat> Vinny, that even with Trey Young or without him, that Spurs are still not going to go that far next season. I hate to say that. I might have to agree with them uh, because the rebuild will still continue even if they were to acquire a Trey Young. I don't know that I can disagree with that either, yeah. uh, Jeff. I mean, and 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 I take that back to the idea that the West is just still 
It's crazy. I it's mean, crazy. A, a few years ago, the East had their little run for about a season and a half yeah. or two of, of being the better conference. But as usual, it is about the West. I mean, it is just stacked. I mean, nobody's going away any mm. anytime anytime soon. But I feel like the the fan base uh, has been pushing for this Trey Young thing for a while. I oh, mean, yeah. it's like it's <clears> like. It, despite they've been losing games left and right, the, the dominating headline continues to be get Trey Young to San Antonio yeah. and 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 the, imagine the possibilities, uh, you know, the pick and roll action between he and he and Victor. So, yeah, everybody uh, has been on the Trey Wag, Trey Young uh, uh, train for a while now. We had a guest yesterday. Uh, we we're talking about the rebuild. That's kind of a theme this week. And we're talking about free agents. And we're saying, well, with Spurs fans, maybe most of them think that, oh, we got to get the big, big names, you know, like a Trey Young or I mean, Donovan Mitchell's like of that ilk. Mm-hmm. But he brought up a good point. Maybe the Spurs maybe don't have to do that because you look at the available free agents uh, this upcoming season. There's some that can fit in really good and give the Spurs team a boost, like a Tobias Harris. I think that could work too. So I get the Spurs fans want the sexy names to come to San Antonio, but. If it's about winning, you want to bring in players that know the role. I think like a Tobias Harris will fit in uh, and, and others. So, yeah, I, look, as much as Trey Young would address the, the need for point guard, but I hate saying that, Vinny, because I love Trey Jones. Vinny, what are your thoughts? Like him a lot. I mean, Trey yeah. Jones, his learning curve uh, was intense, and, and and he's come from one end of the spectrum to the other. I mean, he's mm-hmm. earned some, some minutes and some accolades and uh, really impressed – uh, by that guy for sure. Now, I I will say uh, I don't think Brian Wright and and with the influence of of Pop and others, they're not going to outthink themselves. Like mm-hmm. I, I'm with you. I don't think they would go get just the star power names to say that they they did it and, and we need that to, yeah. to to throw some enthusiasm into the operation. They're going to get the right kind of pieces to go around a, a Victor and a, and a Devin and and maybe some others. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see who they eye as, mm-hmm. as pieces that will, will work. I mean, it's a critical free agency summer um, it is. for this organization, because as you and I have talked about in the past, people aren't eyeing this NBA draft. Mm-hmm. They're eyeing the 25. The next one, yeah. So, but, un- and so under the idea that the Spurs will be even better and may not be a, a 2025 draft player, They've got to get free agency right this time, this year. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think they really got to start getting the rebuild going uh, a little faster starting this offseason. But, again, great question uh, or statement, Mudhorn. We appreciate it. Our final Locked On Spurs comment comes from Big Sean PD. Shocker, Vinny, more about Trey Young. Uh, he says, it wouldn't surprise me if we got both LeBron and Trey Young this offseason. season. I'll First of all, Big Sean, thank you for the comment. We appreciate it. But that is, I, I think that'd be too much. You know, again, okay, not to say the Spurs, you know, would scoff at LeBron saying, hey, I want to come join the Silver and Black. But, whoo, can you imagine that, Vinny? Not really. Uh, <laughs> that, 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 that's a lofty goal there. I mean, I, I've even seen people saying they need to br- draft Bronny. Bring bring Trey, bring LeBron, draft Bronny. <laughs> <laughs> they they want the Spurs to be the the center of the universe. I mean, it was a few weeks ago that I sent you that email, and and you and I had a laugh about, or maybe you did, had a laugh. I don't recall yeah, if I was yeah. on, but but the, one of the Vegas insiders, yes, had, yeah, thank you, had, for that. Had, yeah. had, the, had the Spurs listed as LeBron's number one free agent destination. Maybe yeah. not his, but but the, the odds said he would wind up in San Antonio mm-hmm. before anywhere else. But uh, it's 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 been a crazy speculative world <clears throat> uh, uh, even before the off season about the future. Of, of the Spurs, but uh, can you imagine? I'm trying to say to myself, yes. could I imagine? Could I could I put my little thinking cap on and imagine <laughs> LeBron being here? I really can't right now, but maybe we'll be surprised. Yeah, I, I can't either. And again, I understand why some some Spurs fans might think that's just pie in the sky because historically, you know, big names like that don't come to San Antonio right you know, at all. But unless it's via trade or something like that. But as far as them just wanting to come to sign as a free agent. Excuse me, that is rare. So, yeah, Trey Young. Le- can you imagine this? Trey Young, LeBron James, Wimbayama, then Louis Vuitton. I mean, what is going on here in San Antonio? Is it turning to Los Angeles now? I mean, is it, is mean, it getting off a fancy pants here in San Antonio? 
it seriously is, man. And 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 I, I think of it like this: like, does Victor have enough star power yet? Yeah. Where the best in the league say, "I want to go to San Antonio to be a part of that." Do you think that that could factor in that that oh, players yeah. that the mm-hmm. free agents are excited about what's happening here that they just want to be a part of playing yeah. with him since the league has never seen anything like yeah. him? I think that is coming soon enough because <laughs> if you look like with Donovan Mitchell in a couple of years, he's going to be a free agent. And um, does would he want to come to San Antonio knowing the Spurs are just the beginning roots of their, their next rebuild to chase a title? Probably not, but I, I can see maybe players within his draft class, you know, maybe a year or a year ahead, a year behind wanting to come to San Antonio because of that, because some of these upcoming free agents, you know, they're already at that point in their career there. They might be start thinking about, eh, you know, do I want to take a few steps back team wise to chase a ring or chase a deep playoff run with San Antonio or go with an established team, but who knows? I mean, maybe this first could shock everybody and turn the ship around overnight in the off season and bring in power names and make this a superpower as Peter J. Holt did say to French media that their goal is to make this team a superpower once again. So we shall see. But again, uh, thank you, Big Sean, for that comment. We appreciate it. But yeah, Le- LeBron, Wimby, and Trey Young in San Antonio. And Devin. Wow. That that that's that's you know a what? lot of attention. That's a lot of attention. We have it, we, we have it on the record on this podcast right here and now. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Hey, we're done talking. We want to hear from you. What do you think about what your fans, the fellow fans, have to say? And we're gonna their comments of Trey Young. And, uh, yeah, what do you think about uh, Vassell being uh, Wimby's forever partner? You know, let us know what you think. You'd let Vinny know on X at V Vincetta. Vinny, what is cooking on your side of the world? Oh, gosh, uh, getting ready for uh, the, the new season of uh, some UFL, San Antonio mm-hmm. Ramas uh, oh, football, yeah. uh, playing out this uh, Spurs regular season and seeing what happens uh, after that. Uh, lots of uh, spring uh, high school and college sports on the on the radar and uh yeah just kind of it's got a little bit of a slow week other than all these spurs home games because it's spring break here in the alamo city um but still we'll we'll, we'll keep it busy nonetheless absolutely by the way Vinny, i think um i think i gotta like add a little nerd into your life i know i'm a big nerd okay i'm a big nerd okay so um i think i'm gonna get you a t-shirt you know so you can wear for the for the well, that's the thing. We'll talk about that off the record. But, <laughs> but we'll, 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 I think I got to nerd your, your life up a bit. Uh, just just a little bit, all right? I have no uh, issue with that. Okay, not a problem. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I know what I'm thinking, Vinny? Because you remind me a lot of this character because, uh, you know, the size and the build and everything of the Hulk. So I think <laughs> we're going to get you the Hulk because you remind me of the Hulk. I mean, you're just Jack, Vinny. You're just Jack. You know, it, it just happens. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he is the Vin Dog, Vinny Vincetta. Follow him on X at B Vincetta. Make follow me on X as well at Jeff G Spurs Zone. Hey, go to Ken's5.com slash Spurs right now. All things silver and black each and every day. Something new, something fresh. Go check it out. And subscribe to Locked on Spurs wherever you get your favorite podcast. Google Play, Stitcher, iTunes, and the Ken's 5 Plus app as well. We'll be back tomorrow. All things silver and black. I believe tomorrow's guest is, uh-oh, Michael Jimenez. Yep, he's back. You know that character. I'm acquired taste. Acquired taste. Yeah, he's joining us uh, tomorrow and likely going to start stir a lot of pots. So brace yourself, everybody. But for Vinny Vincetta, I am Jeff Garcia. We're going to put a lock on this episode of Lockdown Spurs.